the William Hill Handicap Hurdle is race two on week four. Uh, it's a two mile naught to one thirty handicap hurdle. Class three. Top one is Greek Kingdom for Paul Rhodes. Cool Mega Bear, Martin Leedham, Treadwell Shell, Graham Clutterbottom, Mer Sal Germain, James Shea's also got practice. Madeira Flutter, Thomas Rogers, Akimoto, Senator David Robertson, I like him, Matt Ranch, Derek Hinton, Patagate Clash, David Robertson, Faraway Hyde, Thomas Rogers, and Alex Cherry has got the bottom two, Tessery Flores and the Big Yin. Called in in the rain and away they go. And the grey Mersal Germain is the first one to show, but immediately pressed by the big yin on the outside. And sitting themselves down and racing towards the first of eight flights. They come up past the stand. This will be the last on the next circuit. They're all safely over that one. And the big yin just about got his head in front of the grey Mersal Germain on the inside in second, then Coolbeg about the four year old in third with practice in fourth and on the wide outside Greek Kingdom. After that, Derek Hinton's I like him, Matt Ranch in the pink jacket has just been overtaken there by Tessery Flores. Madeira Flutter is after that. Wide on the track is Akimoto Senator. David Robertson's got two in this one. Far away Hyde is that next one. In fact, I think the colours have got mixed up here because I like him, Matt Ranch is Derek Hinton's horse and it's running in David Robertson's colours. So. The one that's running in David Robertson's colours, Patagate Clash. I don't, I'm not sure who's that is. To be honest, I can't remember anymore. But the colours are, are a little bit mixed up anyway for some reason. So Coolbeg about is in the lead. Practice is in second. Mersal Kingdom is in third, and the Big Yin. So we'll forget the the trainers' names as much as possible for this one because we might be getting them wrong because it's definitely one or two issues. And it's Coolbeg about is in the lead by a couple of lengths as they come to the third and Coolbeg about leads over it from the Greek Kingdom in second in the big yin and uh, Marcel Germain is, in, is up with that one as well then so too Patakate Clash um, looking towards the back Treadwell Shell is the back marker as they get over number four and that's the midway point in the jumping with Greek Kingdom the new leader from the grey Marcel Germain in second Coolbeg about on the inside is third and practice on the outside is fourth then Treadwell Shell, Far Away Hyde, Tessery Flores, and Madeira Flutter is also next. The Big Yin, I think some of the horses are in the right colours, some of them are in the wrong colours. Callback about in third is definitely the right colours because that's mine. Um, and it looks like the Big Yin, which is I'm pretty sure it's Alex Cherries, is in the right colours as well. So, anyway, it's Greek Kingdom in the lead that may or may not belong to Paul Rhodes. And it comes down towards the fifth as they get over that one. And. It's clear in front by a couple of lengths to practice in second. Callback about being pushed along in third. Then Tessery Flores in four. The big yin and Treadwell Shell. Then Akimoto Senator. The one that's tailing off a little bit is Madeira Flutter. But it's Greek Kingdom who's still the clear leader over the third last then. Good jump by Callback about in the big yin in second and third. Akimoto Senator making a forward move on the outside. The grey Marcel Germain is also getting a little bit closer. One or two of these coming quite wide, including I like him, Matt Ranch which is, I'm pretty sure, Derek Hinton's and his Greek Kingdom in the lead. Greek Kingdom then leading by a couple to the Big Yin in second. Coolbeg about his third. Far away Hyde is four. They're all being pushed along now, scrubbed along past the three furlong pole. They've still got a couple of flights of hurdles to take. And Greek Kingdom comes to the second last. Gets over it. Not the fastest of jumps though. And the Big Yin and Far away Hyde are beginning to close. Coolbeg about on the inside. Then the two in the green. Tessery Flores and practice trying to get into it. But Greek Kingdom still in the lead. Far away Hyde and the Big Yin. Look, the big challenges as they come over the final flight. No, that one a mistake over on the far side by Faraway Hyde as he came through the challenges, giving the Big Yin the lead. The Big Yin passes the furlong pole and the lead is about a length clear now. They're trying to close him down. Tessery Florence, I like him, Matt Runch, but the Big Yin looks like he might have been off under the hood. It's the Big Yin. The Big Yin's racing towards the line, being chased by I like him, Matt Runch. The Big Yin takes it. I like him, Matt Runch is second. And then Tessery Flores was third. The field will trail back to Mersal Germain, who may well have been last. Well, it looks to me like there's another one behind that one. And the Big Yin takes what was a messy race due to the colours. The Big Yin for Alex Cherry was the winner. I like him. Matt Ranch for Derek Hinton indeed was second. Tessery Flores, Alex Cherry third. Greek Kingdom for Paul Rose fourth. And Coolbeg about was fifth. So a 1-3 for Alex Cherry.